Hi and welcome to a little live My Data Merge presentation. We are a small team of designers and developers and we decided a few years ago to make uh, data merging in InDesign a more fluent experience and this is the result. My Data Merge is pretty nice uh, to flawlessly merge data without issues and stuff you probably know when trying to data merge in InDesign directly. So let's start a new project. I have prepared a layout from a business card and as you can see I have uh, placed some placeholders inside that business card uh, where my data should be merged. I have first name, last name and I have phone one, phone two and email down here. Let's close it and import it into my data merge. Then I have uh, some uh, demonstration data uh, which basically has the same columns I have put in my layout from first name, last name up to email. And uh, that uh, Excel data has uh, two sheets. The second sheet, the other sheet is empty and I have my worksheet where I want to import the data from. So let's just drag and drop it. My data merge will find that there are several sheets so I can choose which sheet to import from, then import both datas. And as you can see now, my data merge just found all the placeholders I have inside my business card layout. And uh, to link them automatically. You just got that auto link function down here. So now my data merge is prepared and set up. I can head over to the export section and choose what I want to export. So I can say I want to export like uh, business cards 1 to 10. I want to have a file type. I can export to InDesign, PDF, interactive PDF or just compatible CSV files if you want to continue manually with InDesign's data merge. Let's say I want to have uh, InDesign files. I can choose to have one document per record, one document for all records or custom records per document, uh, which is really interesting if you have like thousands of records and in standard InDesign data merge, uh, it will create one big file with thousands of pages, which makes it really, really slow. And by splitting up this into several uh, files, uh, you can gain a lot of speed in there. Okay, let's say we want to have one document per record. Then my data merge offers us to set up file names. So I want to set up some file names manually now. Uh, let's say um, I want to have a uh, in each file name, I want to have the last name. So now this would be my result. And I want to have like a counting number. So I add a sequence item with an arithmetic number. So we have one, two, three, four, five with two leading zeros. And I just drag and drop that up here. Now this would be my file name for the first record. This would be the third, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on. So now this doesn't look pretty nice, so I will add uh, a space in between them. And I will uh, format that more web, more for web. Okay, so now this will be my file name uh, for file one, two, three, four, and so on. That's all you need to do. This took round about 60 seconds to prepare a data merge. Now let's head back to the export section and say we want to export record 1 to 10. Let's check the data and export. I have a result folder up here on my desktop so I will choose this one and let my data merge do the job. And as you can see while my data merge is working the files are created constantly. So now what do we have? We have a business card number one up to 10 with the last name in it. Let's open it. And as you can see, all the data has been entered properly. But what happened? My data merge told us that some overset text was found. So please check the overset report in the target folder. So let's do that. Here's an overset report. And as we can see, we have in a business card number nine and 10, we have a 10 characters overset text. So Let's open 9 and 10. Let's have a look. And as you can see down here, the email is pretty much too long for uh, InDesign to merge it correctly. So the rest of the text uh, becomes overset text. And this is why my data merge warned us. But there's a lot of 
of things that can happen in a data merge and you probably know it if you are a regular data merge user in Adobe InDesign, but we have built so many cool and nice function in my data merge that makes it so easy to just handle cases like these. Okay, so let's empty my result folder. Let's head back. So, and we've seen that the email itself was too long. So we go in email, we choose some styling and I can choose a fitting option. And as the emails have been too long, I choose fit text to frame, but decrease only. This means that uh, text that is too small for the frame doesn't get um, make uh, bigger, doesn't get made uh, bigger. So I just want to decrease long text so that it fits right into uh, the text frame. And that's all we need to do. Let's head back over to the export section check the data, choose my result folder and start again. And while the data is merged, I can uh, see how the documents are going to be created one by one. And one, once it's done, it shouldn't show us any oversex text anymore. That's what happened. So let's open this one. As you can see, it fits and open nine and 10. Those that have been too long, and as you can see, my data merge just uh, made the font size smaller so that the whole text fits in. So please check the other videos in uh, this channel where you can see a lot more functions of my data merge and how to handle different cases that happen regularly on uh, using the data merge uh, in InDesign. Um, we're just scratching the surface in this video. Um, or try it yourself by downloading it on mydatamerge.com. Have a look and feel free to ask any questions in our forum on mydatamerge.com. Thank you very much.